Um, Judge, I think it's best if we just play this okay. one. Baby, Lil B, Slam, YSL, Crip Killer. <laughs> That's Mr. Williams' voice. Um, Based on? Directing. Let's not interrupt each other, please. Directing this child to throw up these gang signs. Okay. So that's what we So doing. are you going to have some kind of a, either somebody familiar with Mr. Williams' voice to say that's him or a voice analyst to say that's him? We would have someone that we believe is familiar enough with his voice to say that that's him. Okay, well, we'll see. We have Mr. Stillwell. We're going to ask for a limiting instruction uh, if if that's admitted. All right, provide a uh, proposed one, please. On behalf of Mr. Williams, Your Honor, mm -hmm. what is the import of this? So I understand it's prejudicial because a person may think that a, a young child using what I, what I would consider gang language with, with their hand signs mm -hmm. may be um, inappropriate. But why would this matter here? The lyrics are coming in. Mr. Williams is constantly changing the letter B to um, or letter C to a B. Like, instead of Cleveland Avenue, Cleveland Avenue, there's a whole bunch of lyrics that Judge Glanville let in. There are um, tattoos on Mr. Williams' body that has already come in that shows the letter B and um, alleged other supposed gang symbols. They have introduced, they being the court has admitted into evidence exhibits showing... Um, Things like a green snake or an emoji with a B on it. Um, I just don't understand why the child is an important part of this mission to find the truth here. And Mr. Williams' voice. I find it to be wholly, wholly prejudicial. And I find the probative value to be scant. All right, let's hear from the state. So, Your Honor, as the court is aware, the rules of evidence are rules that favor admissibility, and 403 should only be used in extreme situations, and Mr. Williams, not the state, bears the burden of showing when something is shown to be relevant, it's presumptively admissible, and he bears the burden of showing that it's prejudicial that its prejudicial um, effect substantially outweighs its probative value. And Mr. Williams has said nothing about the prejudicial effect of this video with his child, uh, his, um, with Mr. Williams dictating to this child, throw up B, uh, throw up YSL, Crip Killer, which are all things that Mr. Williams has attempted to distance himself from throughout the entirety of this trial. He has asserted that all of this is, you know, not real. All of this is, you know, just a facade. And the more that um, the state is able to show to the jury that this is, in fact, not a facade or not someone pinning on Mr. Williams' designations that are not accurately pinned on him, then the stronger the state's case becomes. Um, so... Our argument is that Mr. Williams has in no way shown that this video is substantially more prejudicial than probative. All right. Your Honor, with respect to Mr. Huey, uh, we would also chime in on the 105 instruction, but not, notwithstanding that, Your Honor, can you hear me, Judge? I can hear you. I don't think that's working, but I can hear you anyway. Can you hear me now, Judge? Yes. So we would also ask for the 105 instruction on behalf of Mr. Huey, but notwithstanding that, Your Honor, this is extremely prejudicial uh, from the standpoint of uh, having a child uh, hold up these gang signs and so forth and so on, what appears to be gang signs. And again, this is going to be one of those scant and cumulative uh, aspects of a piece of evidence that if the court allows it to come in, 
it's going to be drug in for the sake of its prejudicial effect. Clearly what 403 says we can't do. So I would ask the court to take that into consideration. Okay. Well, I'm certainly considering the appropriate law. Yes, sir, Mr. Steele. There's also another, I can't find the exhibit number, but there's a video that came in over objection that Mr. Williams is doing something similar or someone's doing something similar with a child. All right. Why don't you all get me that and I'll consider whether there might be a cumulative issue here. But with regard to just 401, 403, it's certainly relevant. And I agree that it's prejudicial, which, you know, case after case says most of the state's evidence is prejudicial against defendants. I don't think it's substantially more prejudicial than probative considering part of the conspiracy they allege is preserving, protecting, and enhancing the reputation, power, and territory of the enterprise by the posting of messages, images, videos, and songs demonstrating alignment to the enterprise and a willingness to engage in violence on its behalf. I mean, it's wildly probative to that. And Your Honor, we're also going to ask for a Rule 105 instruction on behalf of Mr. Kendrick. And we echo the comments made by the others. Okay. Yes, ma'am. We don't believe that a 105 instruction on this type of evidence is appropriate. It's not a testimonial piece of evidence, a testimonial statement. So we would ask that a 105 instruction not be given in instances where this is the evidence being presented. And we would also submit that Jeffrey Williams is alleged to be the leader of this gang. And in having or directing this child and other children to do things like he's doing, he is, in effect, he's starting early and starting young. That is part of the state's theory in this case that this gang recruits young children and this is what it ends up being. Judge, I think there was a piece of evidence that came in on, or we reviewed a child on yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, that we saw in an image. It was either a poster. Yeah, but I don't remember that being anything that the child was doing in response to somebody directing them to do it. I think it seemed like the child was, I mean, I'd be happy to look at it again because that's not specifically what I was looking at it for then. But if that's what y'all are thinking about, you know. Well, that's one at least that came, immediately came to my memory. And do you recall that that child was doing that in response to somebody directing them? I'm not sure if there was sound associated with that particular image, but it was certainly at the direction of an adult and then the child was. Was it Mr. Williams? I believe it was. Yes, Judge, it was. It was the, one of the two videos that you saw on yesterday. And when you listen to the sound, it's exactly the same thing. The child is being directed. And in fact, it's the same child. Okay. He says Big B, Little B. He doesn't say Crip Killer. He doesn't say YSL. All right. That's, that is not cumulative if that's the only one that y'all had in mind. So that's, I'm overruling those objections. 